subscribe to mastermind channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of our videos so hi guys this is parsha and you are watching mastermind so friends in this session we are going to discuss how to study class 11 physics this video is both for isc as well as cbsc students for class 11 so friends first let me tell you that your class 10 physics was totally different from what it is now that is class 11 it is totally different and here you need to understand that mugging up the answers is not at all going to help you no not at all because everything is different in class 11 you will have to understand the concepts in physics and you cannot go for mugging up any of the answers and let me remind you that in class 11 there is very less uh, in your exams there will be very less questions that will be asked from your theory part most of the questions will be numerical based and also you will get analytical questions many analytical questions mostly analytical questions or conceptual questions they are asked and numerical is also asked and the theory part is very less so what you need to do you cannot go for mugging up anything and class 11 until and unless you are not clear with the topics of class 11 you cannot study class 12 so if you have taken up science you have to work hard for it you cannot just let go class 11 with a very poor marks you will have to work hard from the beginning that is from now so that you can score good marks in your class 12 and let me remind you i said this in my previous video also that both class 11 and class 12 for science stream it is interrelated and you cannot miss out the topics that are taught in class 11 because you are going to need the concepts class 11 concept in your class 12 as class 10 numericals with just a direct application of the formula whatever formula was there there were there was little changes and then in the questions of numericals i'm talking about there were little changes but it was a direct application based like direct formula based questions were there you need to just put the formula and you will get the answer but in your class 11 the questions if you have noticed carefully the questions of class 11 that is there in your physics part both for iec as well as cbsc syllabus is same so the questions if you see the questions are very lengthy it is comparatively it is not that simple the questions are very lengthy and very confusing you will have to understand the question carefully before solving the numericals which formula to use where this is not a question first of all reading and understanding the question is a problem so you will have to work hard in class 11 do not go for mugging up anything you need to understand and in your class 10 you have studied the formula suppose i'll be giving you an example for instance friends in your class 10 you have studied about the three equations of motion that is v is equal to u plus at and v square is equal to u square plus 2as and s is equal to ut plus half at square but in your class 11 in your later chapters you will come to know how the formula has been derived how it has come you will study the derivation part of these formulas and also you have studied about the newton's three laws in your class 10 and in your class 11 you will study how the formula has been arrived for the newton's three laws how the formula has been derived you will have to do the derivations of the newton's three laws and you will also study which law among the three laws of newton which law is known as the real law of motion so newton's second law is known as real law of motion i am telling you free handedly newton's second law is known as real law of motion because both newton's first law and the third law has been derived from the second law if you remember the second law was the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to the force applied on it and this change in momentum takes place in the direction of the applied force so this was just an example i was giving you so friends do not go for mugging up anything you will have to understand the concepts you will have to study physics and directly do not go for practicing the lengthy numericals the uh, numericals which are very tough please go for practicing the easy numericals first slowly slowly you will learn the concepts and now talking about the, which reference book you should follow so if you are in cbse board so sl arora book this is the best if you want any reference book you purchase sl arora this is the best book for cbse you have two parts part 1 and part 2 for physics i'm talking about in your chemistry also you have two parts so you will have to if you want you can purchase that because in your ncert books it is not given properly so you can refer to sl arora book there will be a lot many numericals you can practice from there solve one everything will you will get there and what are the types of question that are asked in the exam that will also be there in your sl arora and you talk about physics isc and newton books are the best you, you might be following this books in your school also and there are many other books also as you can use as your reference book but newton books are best so friends these were the certain tips that i wanted to share with you all to 
I wanted to discuss with you all about physics. I got repeated comments from you all that you are facing a lot of difficulty in class 11 in your physics part mostly. So this video was for all those who are facing difficulty in physics. So friends, this was the video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel.